Hey folks, so I've uh, driven to the beach here on my first forays out on uh, foot and we're going to look at the mostly unused film simulation on uh, Fuji cameras which is Provia um, and it's a very underrated film simulation so uh, we're down in a place called St Mary's Lighthouse in Whitley Bay um, it's a nice section of beach that runs along from the lighthouse um, all the way down to uh, the actual um, Whitley, sort of Whitley Bay area um, and it's a sort of uh, it's a little one of my favourite places to come. I used to walk on the beach here quite a lot. Um, so this will be the first time in a year that I've actually been able to walk a little bit on the beach. Not going far though. I'm going to find a rock to sit on and do most of the photography from there. So I'll catch you in a bit. Hey folks, so it's a bit windy down on the beach today, but I've uh, set up the first uh, composition. Hope you can. Uh, I hope you can see that. Um, if not, I'll sort of try and show it with the actual um, the camera as well as I've shown the back of the camera. Um, I'll use the, um, the little vlog camera here to uh, show the composition as well. I'm just using a polarizer for the minute, but we're using the standard um, Provia profile, which is based on Fujifilm's uh, Provia film stock. And it's designed as a, a general purpose, and it's one that I've, I've owned Fuji cameras for years. I've never really given any mind straight on you go to classic chrome, but I really do urge you to, to use the Provia. I've only tweaked it a tiny bit. I've reduced the saturation by minus one. Other than that, I'm shooting straight out of the camera. We're also going to do some shots with a ND filter later on, uh, just to see if we can defocus, um, not defocus, so if we can blur the clouds uh, and soften the water and get some nice long exposures and blur the many, many people that are on the beach um, at the minute. So I hope you can see the back again. Um, I can't zoom in as much with this shot, so I can only show you the back of the camera, but we've gone for a 200mm shot this time, again with a polarizer, just to get some uh, more detail on the lighthouse. We've got some reasonable light, although it's mid-afternoon. Um, this is the only time I could get out down the beach. So uh, again, we'll take that shot, and you'll see how the tones, the soft tones of Provia sort of work really well for the sort of rough stone of the lighthouse. Um, and again, the blues are quite, you know, they're not subtle, they're not in your face, the colours. It's, it's, it's a lovely um, film simulation to actually uh, to use. Um, I'm going to do the same shots after this, but we're going to use the ND filter. And we're going to see if we can get some really nice long exposures. So it's ever-changing uh, conditions out here. It's, it's cloudy, but the sun keeps coming out, so it makes it very challenging. So we're doing five-second exposures. Um, I'll be the results up on the screen now. So it's the same three compositions we're doing. It's... Um, one at 50 mil, one at 100 millimeters, and one at full zoom, around about 200 millimeters, um, just to give you the different compositions. Now it's interesting because the the sun was in behind the clouds for the last one, so it's quite flat. And now you're going to see what it's like with the ND filter. But equally, the sun was out for these shots, so they'll be a little bit more contrasty, and it really has brought out the uh, the, the whites on the lighthouse. So. Looks, it'll look quite different to the other images. Anyway, what we'll do next is we'll go back uh, to the house and I'll talk a little bit more about the images once I've processed them and seen what they come out like. It's a bit difficult now, but um, if they did come out any good, um, I'll just I'll put them up on the screen, or have been put them on the screen, and then we will conclude at home where we'll talk about um, what the images are like, and then you guys can discuss in the comments what you uh, what you think, and you can go out and try probing it yourself.
So, it's uh, time to walk back, sorry for the wind, and I've got to manage myself over these uh, rocks. Because I've walked on them in about a year, so I've had a lovely time just sitting on the rock there doing some photographs. Um, it's a lovely part of the beach down here at Whitley Bay, and I've now got um, some steps to climb up. Which uh, you'll probably see appearing behind me, which are probably going to get really out of breath. So I'll see you back at the house, folks. Uh, but I've had a lovely time on my first proper adventure out. <laughs> Although I still do get quite tired. I'm taking my time up these steps. Taking it easy. Right, see you in a bit. Hey folks, so um, I'm back from my uh, trip to the beach. Um, and I've had a chance to uh, process the images. Uh, first of all, I'll tell you what I did to them. Um, the images that were taken with the polarizer and uh, that were also taken with the ND filter, I have processed in Lightroom, just very lightly, um, since simply because uh, filters can fool the auto white balance. I should have set the white balance manually, uh, but I had it on auto, so it kind of knocked the white balance out a little bit because it's harder for the camera to do its metering and get the white balance uh, when it's doing it through a filter. But you should be able to see from uh, the images that were uh, taken with a polarizer, I've been able to sort of make the clarity on the water a little bit clearer. Um, we've also got a nice softening of the clouds with the, um, the ND filter. Um, but fortunately, it was very busy on the beach and some people were walking past. So I've also um, cloned them out of some of the images um, simply to have consistency in the images. Now also what I wanted to compare was I just took a couple of snaps at the end which I'm going to bring up now um, because you've already seen the previous pictures with the filters of just Provia taken out of camera with the camera sort of sitting on the tripod at um, a pretty normal um, shutter speed. No, you know, long ex no long exposure or anything like that. Um, and this is to give you an idea of what the natural colours are out of the camera. As I say, Provia is just a, a lovely, underrated um, film simulation. Um, all I've done to this one is I've literally just decreased the saturation by one because I like the way that it comes out. It's not quite as contrasty as Classic Chrome, but it kind of has that look of Classic Chrome and it's quite universal. You can use it for pretty much anything. Um, portraits, landscapes, uh, or even documentary if you want to. Um, but it's just softer, it's less con much less contrasty, and I like a little of a desaturated um, look to, to Provia. And I think it's a film simulation that your food shooter should have a, have a go with, try it with the grain, put the uh, colour chrome effect on, try and see whether you want to increase the blue. So you can put the colour chrome effect on for blue and increase the um, vibrance of the blues, or the saturation of the blues. Or indeed, you could um, just put the general colour chrome effect on and increase the contrast of all the, the, the base colours and see what that comes out with. Um, but essentially, it's a kind of a simulation you need to have a play with. Because I think when you use it, you'll surprise yourself. Because you'll when you first switch the camera on, you'll go, oh, oh I want to do classic chrome, or um, I want to do bleach bypass, or I want to do a turner. And we all want to use the fancy prone egg fancy simulations and I'll tell you what I accidentally used this um, simulation when I was at a, um, a friend's uh, car show that was organized for British sports cars I'll bring a couple of the pictures up now and I thought when these came out I kind of thought these are really good I really like these pictures and when I got them back and sort of um, put them through the uh, the Fuji software I was like wait a minute I've taken these in Provia and I was like that's when it dawned on me that I've like, oh, I've been ignoring Provia. I've owned Fuji cameras for about three, four years now, three years. And I've hardly ever shot in Provia. I've always done classic chrome, which I like. So the whole ethos behind this little video was to show you that actually give Provia a go. Um, because actually it's a really nice film simulation. It's not like the natural simulation you get out of a standard camera you know, any, any brand of camera, there's something unique about it. I don't know whether you could get it in other cameras. I will attempt to do it in the Lumix in future video, I'm sure. Um, and it's just something, yeah, that you definitely need to uh, to try. 
So anyway, this is my first foray out uh, onto the beach. I didn't go very far, and I've managed to do it without any repercussions, which I was really pleased with. Um, and I thoroughly enjoy getting out there with the tripod, with the ND filters, and naturally using filters to change and adjust the um, outcome of what the image was. As I say, the pictures I'm sure I've shown you of um, the the normal uh, Provia simulation are straight out of camera. The only ones I've adjusted slightly are for the reasons I, I told you. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed um, this video. Um, about my journey of film simulations and straight out of camera photography. Um, and we'll be doing something um, along the lines of film simulations on the next video. I am working on a tutorial. Um, I've done the script for it. It's a long script. So a tutorial is going to take a little bit longer to put together than I thought. But the script's done for that anyway. So I'll hopefully get some more videos out uh, in September. Especially as I get more, 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 more mobile, and the irony of that is that was my mobile phone just going. Boop, boop, boop. I think I'll leave that in. <laughs> anyway, folks, catch you all later, um, and just keep an eye out for the next video. And remember to, if you did like the video, do like, uh, subscribe, um, and click the bell for notifications. See you all later.